Gina Haspel, Wikipedia Audio Gina Cherie Haspel is an American intelligence officer and the deputy director of the Central Intelligence Agency. Haspel has been nominated by President Trump for CIA director. If confirmed by the Senate, she would be the first female CIA director. Haspel has attracted controversy for her role as chief of a CIA black site in Thailand in 2002 in which prisoners were tortured. She has been described as a torturer by the New York Times editorial board and accused of being a war criminal. Haspel joined the CIA in 1985. She held several undercover overseas positions, for many of which she was station chief. She had long stretches of overseas service in locations including Central Europe, Turkey, and Central Asia. Service with CIA In October through December 2002, Haspel was assigned to oversee a secret CIA prison in Thailand, codenamed Cat's Eye, that housed persons suspected of involvement in Al-Qaeda. The prison was part of the U.S. government's extraordinary rendition program after the September 11 attacks, and used enhanced interrogation techniques such as waterboarding that are considered by many to be torture. According to a former senior CIA official, Haspel arrived as station chief after the interrogation of Abu Zubida, but was chief during the waterboarding of Abd al-Rahim al-Nashiri. After the service in Thailand, she served as an operations officer in counter-terrorism center near Washington, D.C. She later served as the CIA's station chief in London and, in 2011, New York. Haspel served as the deputy director of the National Clandestine Service, deputy director of the National Clandestine Service for Foreign Intelligence and Covert Action, and chief of staff for the director of the National Clandestine Service. In 2005, Haspel was the chief of staff to Jose Rodriguez, director of the National Clandestine Service. In his memoir, Rodriguez wrote that Haspel had drafted a cable in 2005 ordering the destruction of dozens of videotapes made at the black site in Thailand in response to mounting public scrutiny of the program. In 2013, John Brennan, then the director of Central Intelligence, named Haspel as acting director of the National Clandestine Service, which carries out covered operations around the globe. However, she was not appointed to the position permanently due to criticism about her involvement in the rendition, detention, and interrogation program. Her permanent appointment was opposed by Dianne Feinstein and others in the Senate. On February 2, 2017, President Donald Trump appointed Haspel deputy director of the CIA a position that does not require Senate confirmation. In an official statement released that day, House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence Chairman Devin Nunes said, With more than 30 years of service to the CIA and extensive overseas experience, Gina has worked closely with the House Intelligence Committee and has impressed us with her dedication, forthrightness, and her deep commitment to the intelligence community. She is undoubtedly the right person for the job, and the committee looks forward to working with her in the future. On February 8, 2017, several members of the Senate Intelligence Committee urged Trump to reconsider his appointment of Haspel as deputy director. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse quoted colleagues Ron Wyden and Martin Heinrich who were on the committee. I am especially concerned by reports that this individual was involved in the unauthorized destruction of CIA interrogation videotapes, which documented the CIA's use of torture against two CIA detainees. 
My colleagues Senators Wyden and Heinrich have stated that classified information details why the newly appointed Deputy Director is unsuitable for the position and have requested that this information be declassified. I join their request. Early CIA Career On February 15, 2017, Spencer Ackerman reported on psychologists Bruce Jessen and James Mitchell, the architects of the enhanced interrogation program that was designed to break Zubita and was subsequently used on other detainees at the CIA's secret prisons around the world. Jessen and Mitchell are being sued by Suleiman Abdullah Salim, Mohammed Ahmed Ben Saud, and Abedullah over torture designed by the psychologists. Jessen and Mitchell are seeking to compel Haspel, and her colleague James Kotsina, to testify on their behalf. On March 13, 2018, President Donald Trump announced he would nominate Haspel to be the CIA director, replacing Mike Pompeo whom he tapped to become the new Secretary of State. Should Haspel be confirmed by the Senate? she would become the first woman to serve as permanent CIA director. Republican Senator Rand Paul stated that he would oppose the nomination saying to really appoint the head cheerleader for waterboarding to be head of the CIA. I mean, how could you trust somebody who did that to be in charge of the CIA? To read of her glee during the waterboarding is just absolutely appalling. Soon after Paul made this statement, the allegation that Haspel mocked those being interrogated was retracted. Doug Stafford, an aide for Rand Paul, said, according to multiple published, undisputed accounts, she oversaw a black site and she further destroyed evidence of torture. This should preclude her from ever running the CIA. Haspel has been criticized for using torture during her career at the CIA, and for involvement in destroying records of such torture. In late October 2002, Haspel became a chief of base for a black site CIA torture prison located in Thailand. She worked at a site that was codenamed Cat's Eye which would later become known as the place where suspected Al-Qaeda terrorist members ABD Al-Rahim Al-Nashiri and Abu Zubida were detained and tortured with waterboarding. In early February 2017, the New York Times and ProPublica reported that these waterboardings were both conducted under Haspel. In March 2018, U.S. officials said that Haspel was not involved in the torture of Zubida, as she only became chief of base after Zubida was tortured. ProPublica and the New York Times issued corrections to their stories and noted that Haspel was involved in the torture of Al-Nashiri. Haspel played a role in the destruction of interrogation videotapes that showed the torture of detainees both at the black site she ran and other secret agency locations. On December 17, 2014, the European Centre for Constitutional and Human Rights pressed criminal charges against unidentified CIA operatives after the U.S. Senate Select Committee published its report on torture by U.S. intelligence agencies. On June 7, 2017, the ECR called on the Public Prosecutor General of Germany to issue an arrest warrant against Haspel over claims she oversaw the torture of terrorism suspects. The accusation against her is centered on the case of Saudi national Abu Zubida. Jamil Jaffer of the American Civil Liberties Union described Haspel as quite literally a war criminal. Haspel has received a number of awards, including the George H. W. Bush Award for Excellence in Counterterrorism, the Donovan Award, the Intelligence Medal of Merit, and the Presidential Rank Award. National Clandestine Service Leadership Deputy Director of the CIA Nomination as Director Torture Controversy Awards and Recognition